Hi everyone, this is T here. This is episode 79 of the N8 series that he began on World AIDS Day, December 1st, 2021. Last year, it is Southern Ten Productions Funding Drive 45, day 45 since I started that. And um, and it's uh, February 17th, 2022. And uh, so it's a rainy day today. Um, it's too slippery on the melting ice to go take a walk in the park so I'm just chilling in the car to do this um oh not much not a big topic today again I figured it out maybe as I go along so I just speak my mind um yeah I'm just two things really um just uh the bifurcation of society I saw a great meme those who want to live in fear and be controlled, those who want to uh, be free or something like that. I'm not sure if said to have bodily autonomy and be free, something like that. That's what I put in. But um, so, so yeah, just society, just on Facebook, the, the pro-vaxxers, pro-agenda are like, friends, the people that, acquaintances that I've known in the HIV world, and, uh, you know, and they, they're just super fascist, there's like, you know, throw all these protesters in jail, break it up, finally, somebody's doing something, but clear out these maniacs, you know, in vicious language, and, uh, and then I just see videos, and of the protesters still in Ottawa, really this is what they're feeling like is nazism is fascism or you know totalitarian regime coming on they're they're passionate they're they know what the stakes are they could depending on how parliament votes tomorrow whether to ratify justin's uh, emergency emergencies act um you know it's it's the same thing that hitler did when he came to power he gave that that's basically it's word for word what Justin has just made himself as powerful as Hitler in 1933, I believe, when Hitler came, got, could rule by command, basically. And so, you've got a little Hitler in Justin. <laughs> no, I saw another great meme about that. <laughs> or just an image, really. Uh, if People who know will know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, it's a scary world. But also scary for me personally. That's the other thing I want to talk about. Is just what I'm trying to do, what I've been trying to do since 2005, is something that investors usually don't invest in. You know, it's like you're crazy to invest in that. You know, it's um, it's in gone increasingly so since most investment these days are done in tech, right? So um, and social impact is often you know disguised for new technology. So this is. Um, not what uh, Southern Time Productions is about. It's about um, getting back in touch with Earth, with uh, nature, what it means to be human. What before we throw being human away, what what do we actually value about being human? And if we go into this, um, you know, mixing biology with uh, technology era, fourth industrial revolution, as Klaus Schwab, the World Economic Forum, likes to call it that's inevitable why does it have to be inevitable you know it's like and don't we have a choice how much humanity humanity do we want to keep how much do we want to give away because for everything you you people don't realize sir you might be able to connect on the internet by just thinking a thought but how much in order to do that how much a ton bodily autonomy do you have to give away right and um like Neuralink, for example, they say they have the capability to both read, like brainwave patterns or what's going on in your brain, and also uh, be able to write. That means they can program your brain. That's what they claim to do. That was like a few years ago. So just imagine what the technology is actually they're capable of. So it's like, why does that have to be mandatory or, I mean, inevitable? And, and that's the same thing what these truckers are saying. Well, you know, who asked us if we wanted to be, you know, use a vaccine passport or 
had to be vaccinated across the border. You know, you know, that's, you know, like who, who asked me if I wanted to be born into this, you know, body of European descent and, uh, in Canada, right? I had no choice over that. That's how my spirit, I believe in, we're souls, we're spirits that are, that are, um, um, immortal, immortal souls. And, uh, and so we go from lifetime to lifetime and we learn, you know, I don't want to come back to a body that's, uh, controlled by some corporation or some oligarch that, you know, if I don't do behave like a good little slave, they can delete me, they can uh, cancel me, right? So, um, you know, to, 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 so what, what do I do? I'm just giving my hope. I'm, 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 I'm praying. I'm uh, giving faith in God. What's gotten me this far? Just having faith. It's let, lead, led me down roads that it turned out to be dead ends, but I learned from each of them. And, um, and, uh, and I built something along the way. I've gathered a team. We've built something along the way. And, um, and it's just going that first step. You know, it's like, I love in Islam, uh, they, they have the saying, um, uh, whatever God wills. Is that Alu Akbar? I'm not sure. No, but there, it's one of the... Uh, no, it's Inshallah. Whatever God wills. So what will be, will be, basically. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, right? And, um, you know, and I just have to faith, be faith, have faith that, you know, if God wants this to happen, then it will happen. I just got to chill. So here's to chilling, man. Though the world might be falling down around us, here's the chilling. All right, take care.